so hi everyone uh, in this video we are going to see the causes or the etiological factors of psychiatric disorders or mental illnesses so while come to the causes or etiological factors of mental illnesses there is not an exact cause we cannot say an exact cause for the psychiatric disorder or the mental illnesses so there will be a combination there will be a combination of different factors that contribute the psychiatric disorders so that may be the psychological causes biological causes or social causes so generally we can say the causes are bio psycho social factors okay which includes the biological psychological and social factors so now we'll see one by one come to the first one it's a biological factors so while come to the biological factors again there are different factors or the different causes uh, that leads to a psychiatric disorder so come to the first biological factor that is a heredity or genetic factor so while come to this heredity or genetic factor so most of the psychiatric disorder there is a heredity hereditary link or genetic link between with the psychiatric disorder so some of the studies which says that around 3 uh, 3 by 4th of the uh, causes or 3 by 4th of the psychiatric disorder there is a genetic link like that 1 by 3rd okay 1 by 3rd of Uh, psychotic disorder there is a genetic link is there like that in the monozygotic twins okay while coming to the identical twins or monozygotic twins the chance of psychiatric disorder is very high and in, if the uh, primary relatives or the first degree relatives if they have psychiatric disorder the chance of getting psychiatric disorder uh, for the next generation will be very high like that if both the parents okay both the parents are having any of the psychiatric disorder the chance of getting psychiatric disorder will be very high so this is the genetic or hereditary factors which is related to the psychiatric disorder come to the next one that is the biochemical factor so while come to this biochemical factor in our brain there are certain biochemicals are present or neurotransmitters we'll say so this changes with any of these neurotransmitter which leads to the psychiatric disorder so if you see some of the example uh, in case of schizophrenic patient there will be a dopaminergic hyperactivity we can observe or in case of manic patient there will be a high level of serotonin and uh, same like in the depressive patient there is a low level of uh, serotonin we can observe so that is the sero, uh, what we can say biochemical effect so come to the next one which is related to the brain damages or any of the effect related to the brain maybe brain injury or brain damages we can say so here if any abnormalities to the any of the lobes of brain especially the frontal lobe or the temporal lobe it may be as a result of head injury or it may be as a result of any type of infection maybe like encephalitis meningitis or such type of uh, infection after infection that particular uh, functional areas of brain will be getting damaged apart from this one we'll move to the next condition or next factor that is the uh, prenatal factor okay so while coming to this prenatal factor that is mainly during the pregnancy okay if in the pregnancy stage if the mother is not taking a proper nutrition or uh, mother is getting accidental falling or if the mother is uh, taking some medication without doctor's prescription as a side effect uh, later what happens that uh, during the developmental period there may be a delay in uh, brain development and which can lead to the mental retardation or some of the developmental disorders in the baby after birth so these are the prenatal factors that also comes under the biological factors so come to the next one substance abuse so in uh, chronic substance abuse patients maybe like alcoholism use of cannabis or such patients also we can observe in later there may be the patient may be developing with anxiety mood disorders etc Okay, now we'll move to the other biological factors. So while coming to the other biological factors, which may be related to the neuroendocrine factors. So in the endocrine factors, we can see that there is a hormonal changes due to certain hormonal changes. There may be a development of psychiatric disorder, especially during the puberty or during menstruation. Even puerperium. Puerperium means after delivery there is a period. During that puerperium, if there is any changes. or after menopause due to these hormonal changes there may be a development of certain psychiatric disorder okay. then apart from this one uh, vitamin deficiency that is one of the important uh, what we can say 
other biological cause. So because of this vitamin deficiency, especially vitamin B1, the thymine deficiency, which can cause certain effect in the brain. So these are all the biological causes of mental disorders we can say. So now we'll move to the other factor that is the bio, uh, that is the psychological factor. So certain psychology which can lead to the uh, psychiatric disorder. If you see the first one, certain personality type. So in this certain personality type, one example if you say the schizoid personality. In the schizoid personality, the person will be having the avoidant behavior. So later there is a chance for developing psychiatric disorder. Okay, apart from this personality types, we can see there are certain other psychological factors like uh, early, the problems during the early childhood. So one example if you say the maternal deprivation, maternal deprivation means the lack of mother, loss of any of the parents or loss of emotionally attached people, any type of uh, physical, mental or sexual abuse. So apart from this one, the, uh, any of the sexual problems. So these are all the certain psychological factors which can lead to the uh, psychiatric problem. Now we will move to the third factor, the social factor or it is uh, otherwise we can say some of the environmental factor also. These are the factors which comes from the surrounding. So while coming to this uh, social factor or environmental factor, uh, the important ones we can see like uh, uh, poverty, loss of job or unemployment because most of the psychiatric problem we can observe in the low socio-economic people. Then uh, marital disharmony like a divorce, the effect of divorce there will be a problem. Then the prostitution there is a problem with this one. Then changing the job, changing the school. So like that certain factors comes from the society. So this can also affect the uh, or it can lead to the uh, stress and later it can develop with some of the psychiatric problems. So these are all the biological, psychological and social factors that leads to the psychiatric disorder or generally we can say the biopsychosocial factors. So the above said factors, in another way we can say like predisposing factor, precipitating factor and perpetuating factor also. While coming to the predisposing factor. So these are all the factors having a long duration and which leads to the psychiatric disorder. One example like a genetic factor what already we discussed, it is a predisposing factor we can say. Next one is a precipitating factor. So precipitating factor means just before getting the psychiatric symptoms, okay, having a short duration and just before getting the psychiatric symptom, uh, this uh, will be developing. So like uh, in any type of infection or patient is having uh, substance abuses and psychological trauma, so it can immediately develop with the symptoms. So these are the precipitating factors we can say. Come to the next one, the perpetuating factor. So these are the factors which can delay, okay, which can delay the patient's recovery and which can prolong the patient's signs and symptoms also, like presence of psychological stress, malnutrition, etc. So these are these are the another way we can say the factors of uh, or causes of psychiatric disorder. So hope you are all understood regarding the causes of psychiatric disorders. Thank you for watching this video.